back still no money. This happened seven times, the Bible tells us, church. Uh -huh. This happened seven times. How many could have stood on the promise of God and waited all those times while this servant goes way out to look and come back? Come on, bro. Way out to look and come back. Yeah. Are you still got enough tenacity on the inside of you to stay there and pray? Yeah. That's why we don't get what we want to get from God, church, because we live up and we stop praying. We stop believing. We stop prophesying. We stop trusting God. Yeah. Yeah. You start teaching God for his word. Yeah. But how many are just like amen we just like David when he say, I shall not be moved. Hallelujah, yeah. we're gonna stand on the word of God. We're gonna stand on the things of God. We're gonna realize, amen, that God has created us in his image. Yeah. And he gave me everything that I need on the inside of me. Yeah. We're gonna make the right choices. Yeah. I'm gonna do what I need to do to get God to do what he needs to do for me. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Because he just because he gave me free will doesn't mean I have the freedom to do anything I want to do. Yeah. Let's see that Lord in there. Just because I can do it, Paul said, Amen. That means I can see the end. Yeah. There has to come a time where I said, Okay, I got to get my life in order now. Because I need it to rain. How many need to rain up again? How many hear the sound of an abundance of rain? How many need to put your rain into the ground and feel the rain coming? How many hear the rain coming like Elijah did? Hallelujah, somebody. What is it that you want God to rain on you? Come on now. Let you need God to be in your household. I want you to feel the thing today. Hallelujah, because not only we can come to the man of God, but we can come to our own self too. I just trust God. I trust that God's going to heal my body. I trust that I won't have to be in pain every day of my life. Come on, somebody. I trust that when I go back to the doctor, they'll say something miraculous has happened. What is it that you're trusting God for? Trust God to save your whole household. You trust God to give you that dream job that you want. What is it that you trust in God for? How many hear the sound of an abundance of Hallelujah. How many see the river coming? How many see the sea of the river is coming today? Do you see yourself in a better place next year than you are right now? Do you see yourself in a better place next month than you are right now? What is it that you are uh, asking God to do? How many see your breakthrough? Your mental breakthrough? Let me tell you something, church. You can not touch it all we want to. And the pastor got our nice little crosses on, all that good stuff. But I tell you, though, when we get home at night, and then those mental, those thoughts come from the end of the day, you know how to pay the church light bill next month. Come on, somebody. Oh, you know how to meet your week next month. Oh, you don't look crazy with the chairs that are on the street. Come on, somebody. See, I don't bring here one day. Still go through it right now every so often. When y'all need to go on the bed, I'll be happy. You preach it. 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 Thank you. Come on now. But we got to stay rooted and grounded in the things of God. And we got to focus on the sound of our brothers of rain. See, that means that I hear it even if I can't see it, I hear it. I heard that ambulance or whatever it was I did a minute ago. I couldn't see it, but then after my eyes, I saw the light flash. I'm How many of you have been hearing a train coming? Uh -huh. Yes. You can hear it, but you can't see it, but you know you better get off, off them tracks and you're going to get run over. Amen. 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 Thank you. Come on, Peter. Hallelujah. Come on, Peter. I can hear it. Yeah. Even if I can't see it. Because yeah. God told me that it's coming. Ha! Come on, somebody. God told me that it's coming. He told me that my blessing is coming. He told me that my miracle is coming. I just see a prophet praying again. Yes, that's what I want. Yes, sir. But you gotta make sure that's what you want. Yes, you gotta make sure that's what you want. Go ahead now. Amen. That's what you gotta make sure. Is that what you want? You gotta see if coming out of bed. Yes, sir. Because if it's small and you can't answer the phone, you gotta take the call. I, I don't live through all this stuff, y'all. I had to see myself, but still ain't all the way out. Some folks just got tired of calling, they didn't let me alone. I ain't changed no phone number, I ain't changed no, but I did change my address to a certain degree. I still got the same phone number, they just, they just left me alone. Praise God. Amen. I checked my credit card, some folks just fell off. Amen. 
Chris still good. Right. Come on, somebody. God will sometimes work a miracle in your life. You can't tell us how to know. You can't tell God how to know. Tell me you pray you don't pay your bills. I'm not saying that. Don't lie on me. But I'm saying when you take care of the things of God and you trust God, I promise you. He opened the door. Come on now. He will open up the window of heaven. That's what the Bible tells us. And pull you out of blessing, but you don't even have the room to receive. I see yourself paying off your house. No, no, car, no. Come on, somebody. Cutting up your credit cards. See yourself going. See yourself, amen, driving off in your dream car. Over the key. I saw but she's not here today. We're going to let the people see that. I saw two sets of keys. One person is here. I was praying for the church the other day, and I saw two people with keys. I saw in the spirit someone walking under them and handing them keys. One was you, Tanya. Hallelujah. I saw some, a set of keys being handed to you in the spirit. You made your hand out, and you looked just swing it, and you took that set of keys. There's a set of keys being handed to you. And I asked you today, were you able to get your car? You said no, but the devil is a lie. But you need a car for the kingdom. You need, it's not a want, it's a need. You need a car, and you will have it. Start seeing, prophesy your car. Prophesy your van, whatever it is that you want. Prophesy it. Prophesy it. You see, he said, can these bones live? He prophesied to the wind. He stood at the east and prophesied. He stood at the west and prophesied. He stood at the north and the south and prophesied. Bones some dead, dry bones. And guess what happened? Those bones got up and they began to move away. I had life for me. So Elijah prophesied. He told the king what God told him to say. Get your way to and listen to what God is saying sometimes. About your own life. About your own life. Get your own house in the world. And see what the Lord is saying. Hallelujah. Seven times we're going to die. Seven times that hater, who was his servant, he runs out, unbelieving. See, that's the thing about it. When people work with you, they don't know you. God will not. Let, let me go there for a minute. Go ahead now. When people are connected to you, they don't know you. They don't understand the vision. They don't understand the dream. Because if you have been truly connected to life, you would say, well, I don't see you in my natural eyes, but I, I know you said it, so it's going to come. Yeah. And he wouldn't have came back no dog on seven times. He would have waited until it manifested. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's right. If it had been the next day, but we give up and we forget what God has said. Yeah. What has God spoken over your life? No no what has God spoken over your life that has not manifested yet? Ooh. What has he spoken over your life for time that hasn't manifested yet? Speak it out, I just told you. My car. How what have you spoken of your life that hasn't manifested? Health. Great health for my husband. Health for your husband. What have you spoken of your life for Robin? My husband will be right here. Salvation. Deliverance for your husband. What have you spoken of your life for Robin? A baby. What have you spoken of your life for Robin? You will have another baby. I'm going to tell you that uncle, whether you want it or not, you will have another baby. I'm going to let you shake your head all you want to, but you can wrap it up, tie it up, all that. But well, it might not be by you. So you see that. So you see that. We got to be careful, church. We got to be careful, man, but it won't be by you. Over your life. You know what I mean? Don't, don't, don't let me hurt what I give in you. I love you, baby. Woman about what I spoke to. He's going to heal my eye. Heal us for your eye. Woman about what is he spoke to. How old are you, baby? 20. 